Imagine stepping onto a spacecraft not as an astronaut, but as a tourist. No years of training, no NASA badge, just you strapped into a seat minutes away from seeing Earth like only a handful of people ever have. Space tourism isn't science fiction anymore. It's here and it's changing what we thought possible. In the past few years, private companies like Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, and SpaceX have carried civilians beyond the atmosphere. The first time ordinary people paid for a seat to space, history was rewritten. The dream of becoming an astronaut suddenly felt attainable. But here's the surprising part. These trips aren't just joyriding for billionaires. They're testing the systems that will one day carry thousands of us to orbiting hotels, lunar vacations, maybe even Mars layovers. Virgin Galactic offers a few minutes of weightlessness and a breathtaking view of Earth's curve tickets, around $450,000. Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket lifts passengers past the Karman line, giving them that same astronaut's view of the blue planet. And then there's SpaceX. With Crew Dragon, it's not just suborbital hops. We're talking days in orbit, circling Earth like seasoned astronauts. The numbers may sound extreme, but so did the first airplane ticket a century ago. Back then, only the rich could fly. Today, millions do it every day. Space could follow the same path. Space tourism is more than a thrill. It's the beginning of humanity becoming a spacefaring species. The first steps are expensive, yes, but every launch lower cost, improves safety, and opens the door a little wider. The question is, when the day comes that a ticket to orbit costs the same as a trip overseas, would you go? If this video sparked your curiosity, hit like, subscribe to Cosmo Current, and share it with a friend who dreams of space. Because the future of travel may not just be across the world, it may be above it.